The hallmark of a great artist is knowing when to stop. Must throw it on every two. This is why I hate this. Filling every two, that's so lazy. It's such a lazy thing to do. And it's like, it discourages like real musicians from, from, it's like, um, I don't know, because music is always like this nowadays. Like, people don't realize how different the music industry from is from other art industries. And how, like, the same things don't fly in other industries. People have a higher standard for their arts in other industries. Like, people always complain. Everybody will always complain about how music is so, oh, people, like, you have to demand more from, from the people that are providing you with, you know, your entertainment. Like, in the gaming industry, they expect... It's it literally people clown on like developers for releasing an unfinished product and then making people pay full price for it. And then later on, once they get all the money, then they start doing things like, uh, uh, you know, adding DLC and things like that. Right. But that's common. It's so common practice in the music. People don't even think about that. Like, think about it for a second. Most almost every single uh, 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 like music video made today. It does not drop with the project, with the album or mixtape or whatever. It doesn't drop with it. It's not like it shows up on YouTube and like a handful of the songs dispersed throughout it are the music video versions of those songs instead of just like whatever still frame cover of the album art, whatever, right? It's like after you have all that, then there's duplicates made and it's not organized anymore and the views are split across it. And if it's a really popular song, you'll have like 20 million views on one that has like no music no music video and then you'll have like 50 million views on the other sometimes it'll be it'll be distorted and you'll have more views on the one that's not a music video like that one with teach d savage and things like that but um like it's so you think about it it's so commonplace like if i ever make music i'm going to release a full product first i'm going to make everything 100 percent package and then release it i'm not going to release a half-baked item but it's so commonplace in the music industry that people don't even consider anything wrong with it. People demand people demand more from other art forms. People are so lenient. Oh, oh this artist is lazy and stupid and gives me bad music. Oh, I'll still listen to him and support him. People are, are need to gatekeep music more. There's a lot of gatekeeping in other communities. Like with anime, anime is another art form where people are very strict on, on what they want for the most part. Like... People, look, look at the way cell shading used to happen with older anime, right? In, in, before you could digitally draw things and you can just copy and paste everything and have slight movements and all that stuff. You had to go through one by one, frame by frame on a translucent sheet of paper, draw all the characters and backgrounds and everything, and then take that and then move it and move on to the next sheet and draw the whole thing again. And because of that, there was no more effort that you need like it's not like you're drawing it all over again and because you're already going through the effort you might as well throw in some animations in there so if someone's hair is flowing through the wind it's not going to be some loop of like three frames of like dun, 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 of like their hair in the wind in like these like three different drawings over and over and over again repeated really fast or whatever right like these garbage animes that are made nowadays it's like, if you're forced to draw every single frame from scratch over and over and over again, you might as well draw the hair different every time. You might as well, you're already doing it, you're already there. And so because it forces you to go the harder route, it elicits greater art. These limitations created better art. Animation does not look as good as it used to in the 80s, 80s and 70s. That was like the, the 80s and some 90s that was literally peak anime uh, uh, aesthetic and it's like known throughout the anime community the anime it's like the most, least controversial anime opinion to ever exist that the best looking anime is from the anime is from the best looking animes if you want to if you're going the normie route and you can say animes as plural is from the 80s it's like not even all that controversial which everything in anime is controversial. So to say that it's not even all that controversial means it's it's very strongly agreed upon. It's like when you give people easy things like this, like, oh, just fill every two steps. And then they do this and they go. All right, cool, effortless, song done. It results in worse music. It results in 
every single song sounding the same because of how effortless it is to make. Make it difficult. Don't allow people to just fill every two steps. Don't allow that. Literally, get rid of this option. Of course, they're not gonna, because these guys don't care about, like, um, like actual, like, making good music. They care more about uh, uh, creating um, a platform for the masses to make easy music, like, easily sounding good music, decent music, like, mediocre, just reaching the bar, which is what the, the point I'm trying to make, and which is why you even have tools like this. But it's like, if you really, if you, if you want to create a platform that inspires people to make good music and forces them to really put the time and, and effort into going, well, I have to lay down the patterns, hey, I might as well put some actual thought into laying it down in a unique sequence this time, you know?